Hi, this is Debbie Hughes from Lime Digital Design and in today's video I'm getting super inky making backgrounds using Tim Holtz's Distress Products. I'll be using these backgrounds to die cut the pieces for this cardinal sitting in a wintry branch. Before I crack on with making this card, I want to let you know that the Tim Holtz Cardinal dies are an exclusive to Samsa Stamp and are free while stocks last when purchasing from the Tim Holtz brand and I'll leave links below so you can check that out. Okay, on with the show, and the star of the show are these cardinal dies. There are five in the pack, three larger ones and two tiny, tiny ones, so make sure to check right into the corners of the packaging if you don't see these two smaller dies initially. When I heard about the cardinal dies, my mind was racing with ideas, and I thought at the time about having a die-cut snowflake behind the bird and a collection of die-cut wintry greenery around, greenery around it and probably on a blue wintry watery background panel. When the die was released and I saw the cards other designs had made I obviously wasn't the only one thinking along these lines. This die does rather guide you in that direction. So I debated trying to use the die in a different way but in the end decided that I would go with my original idea as I just wanted to relax and have fun getting my hands inky and covered in glitter and glue. It must be the child in me that still loves to get my hands right in there. So this red panel used barn door, candy dapple, walnut stain and then I added in festive berries. Um, those are all the mini distress sinks. I made sure to get lots of colour down on the mat and lots of water too and kept my heat tool running in one hand while moving the card through the colour and the water spritz are going at a great rate too. I'm using watercolour card to handle the amount of treatment and today I used Tim Holtz's watercolour card. Moving on to the second panel and this used exclusively speckled egg distress stain. It's amazing to see the depth and layers you can achieve with just one colour and water. Again lots of dipping into the colour, drying off, dipping again, spritzing, back and forth with that play between wet and dry until I felt I had enough colour down that my next phase would show up. For this I wanted to get some texture into the background and I used Tim Holtz crackle paste randomly swiped over the panel with a palette knife and then set aside to dry. While the blue piece dried I returned to the red piece and die cut the three larger dies from the background. When using lots of dies, especially if some of those are small, it helps to use a small bowl to keep them in to stop them getting lost. I ran the dies through my die cutting machine and I have the Gemini Junior which has been so fabulous for my hands where I suffer with sore joints and weakness. If you don't have an electronic die cutting machine and you're in a similar situation, I highly recommend getting one. With a blending brush, I rubbed Walnut Stain Distress Ink around all the edges, especially over the feet and legs and also along the back of the bird. The two smaller dies are the face and the beak and for these I created corners of colour on a piece of watercolour card using black soot for one and dried marigold for the other. And then I added the dies with tape to make sure they stayed in place and I didn't lose them and ran them through the die cutter. As best I could on these tiny die cuts I rubbed walnut stain distress ink around the edges and then compiled the layers of the cardinal using Gina K Connect glue to attach the detail layer to the base layer and also the face and beak. And then for the wing I attached that with a foam square. With the crackle paste now dry, I spritz speckled egg distress spray stain onto my craft mat and dab the stain onto the crackle with my finger. The colour seeps in between the crackle and accentuates that crazy paving pattern. Next I use the large falling snow slimline stencil from Samsys Stamp and Tim Holtz matte texture paste. I swiped some of the paste through the stencil and then dried with a heat tool. The heat causes the paste to puff up and look, well, hopefully like snow. Talking of snow, I die cut the dainty snowflake from Simon Says Stamp from more Tim Holtz watercolour card and also added the Christmas foliage dies too. As I started to put things together on the speckled egg piece, I quickly realised I needed some green foliage too for contrast as the cardinal looked like he was floating in air and some depth of colour would help ground the focal point. For the green panel, I used Evergreen Bow and Rustic Wilderness Distress Oxide Sprays I used these two colours together the other day and they really played nicely and so I wanted to explore that more. I spritz a piece of watercolour card with water and then spritz the two Distress Oxide sprays directly onto the card. Then it was the same process that I used for the red and blue pieces. 
lots of back and forth, adding colour, diluting it with water, dipping and drying, spritzing, until I had another inky piece ready for die cutting. I die cut the Christmas foliage dies from the panel twice, and then I also use the berries from the set die cut from the leftover red piece. For the cardinal to have something to stand on, I wanted a branch and found this decorated branch die set. I cut it from dark chocolate card and then trimmed off the presents and hearts with scissors to leave the delicate branch. To add interest and in different textures, I rubbed Ranger Multimedia Matte over some of the green foliage and dipped into Rock Candy Distress Glitter and then added Ranger Glossy Accents to the berries and the holly leaves. I used painter's tape to help keep the small die cuts in place while I added the gloss and then left everything to dry. I trimmed the speckled dead background to be slightly smaller than a Nina Solar White card base and attached it with foam tape and then added the die cuts with Ranger Multimedia Matte. The die cuts were delicate, often overlapping each other and sometimes covered in glitter and so often I dab glue directly to the background and press the die in place for a moment until it stayed before moving on to the next die. I added the cardinal with foam squares, added one final holly leaf and covered it in glossy accents and then called the bulk of this card done. For the sentiment I used a Tim Holtz Christmas sticker. I rubbed around the edges with Walnut's Dangerous Dressing and then added the card with foam squares. I added a sprinkling of white and clear sequins from the mini heart sequin set from Samsa Stamp and then for extra sparkle and wintry feel, I rubbed some of the foliage with Ranger Multimedia Matte and sprinkled with mica flakes. And that completes this look at the Tim Holtz Cardinal dies exclusive to Samsa Stamp and free with a Tim Holtz purchase while supplies last. Check out the links below for that and for the other products that I've used today. There's also a coordinating link to the blog post over at limedodesign.com. I want to thank you for joining me and if you've enjoyed this tutorial I'd be delighted if you'd give it a thumbs up and to subscribe to this channel. Also if you'd like to get notified when a new video is out don't forget to hit the bell button next to the subscribe button too. Thanks and I'll see you next time.